second counter and put it on the front of it and this is the program I use right here it's a Sony uh, movie uh, studio pro it's kind of like a Sony Vegas uh, if any of y'all use that it's about the same thing but I think to get started I got my lights on because I'm fixing to do an AMS live show so I don't turn my lights on but what I'm doing is gonna find that counter then I'm gonna add uh, a little piece that I put on a while ago you'll uh, that you just got through seeing, actually. And uh, I'm going to piece this thing together and uh, showing y'all what we do. All right, I just got through putting the counter on and uh, the first clip that I made, uh, you seen it just before I put this on there. I made that clip and I edited it a little bit and chopped off the ends and everything. And we're getting ready to go to Sneed this coming up Saturday. And more later. And I got to tell y'all, I bought me a new uh, uh, a camera I can hook on or put it in the car. Just a little small thing. It's got a clip on it and everything. And uh, uh, I'll be using that on the show a little bit. And uh, listen, now me and, me and Sassy Sonia is supposed to go up to the Red Barn in Sneed, Alabama this Saturday. Uh, but if it's supposed to be storming and so if the storm if, i'll keep up with the weather and if it storms uh we'll go somewhere else besides the red bond but we are going to go somewhere okay so uh hope y'all enjoying this thing here and uh i've been uh, downloading some stuff on the computer right here behind me and uh, uh still got my green screen up and all that so uh Y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater. The best country cooking around. Great dinner theater shows. Karaoke 6 to 9 on Tuesday. Call 648-4461. All right. We headed out. I'm going down and, and picking a sassy Sonya up right now. <clears throat> I told you it's gonna be a little bit different when I pick her up. When I pick her up, uh, when we head up there a little bit, uh, I'll show you a little bit more. Right. Ciao, y'all. Well, we we ain't got far to go now. When we get up here, we're gonna we pick out some people to maybe interview or something like that. Yeah. You know, just people and maybe one or two of the band members or something like that. And I'm probably going to uh, tape maybe a set of them, you know, and that's all. Uh -huh. may not even tape a set. I may just tape like eight songs. 
an eight or ten. Let that be done because I ain't gonna put but two or three songs on anyway. Uh, and uh, anyway, that'll give us time and and building the show now. We ain't gonna do no intros anymore. We're gonna just uh, do do this right here and talk about and let the people out there know exactly what we do. How much travel, how much time, how much everything we put in. This. We've been on the road. We left the house, you got to my house about 5.15. We've been on the road an hour. See that? What was that? Looked like a family of raccoons. Something, I seen it, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, it's about two or three of them. But anyway, uh, this is a red barn we're going up here. It's in Sneed, Alabama, and we've been on the road an hour already, and uh, Sonny needs some pickup. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I'll be showing y'all some uh, some music from the red barn. I don't even know if they got a name. we got to remember to ask them their name when we get up here, too, okay? Yeah. The band name. All right. Here we go. We made it. We made it. We're here at the Red Barn. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let y'all see the Red Barn here. And we fixing to go in. Country music and family dance. <laughs> 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 About 12 years. Who inspired you to uh, play music? Chet Atkins, Lester Flat, Earl Scruggs. I've been doing this since I was three years old. Since you were three years old. I started beating on the guitar at three years old. Now, is that the only instrument you play? Or I play do piano. You... I used to play fiddle some. I played a little bit of everything, but I forgot all that over the years. Yeah. I had a little accident with my wrist, which prevents the fiddle playing. But for the most part, you enjoy it. This I'm guitar and piano mostly. Okay. So how many times a week do y'all play here? One one time a week, Saturday night, 7 to 10. Saturday night from 7 to 10? questions about his band that he has here at the Red Barn. Ara, who's all the members of your band and what instruments do they play? Okay, Gerald Burns is on uh, guitar, doubles on keyboard. Uh, we got Dwight Finley, a mm -hmm. friend of mine, on uh, drums. 
and I got Raymond Williams on bass guitar, Bob Simmons on steel guitar. Oh, okay. Nice band. All right. Who influenced you to play music? Probably other than family. Uh, my brothers did because I was from age three listening to my brothers play music. But uh, probably the old artists, George Jones, Haggard, the okay. older ones. All right. All right. Where did you grow up and where are you from? Warrior, Alabama is where I grew up, went to school at Hayden High School. And uh, yeah, good old Warrior, Alabama. <laughs> And travel around quite a bit, but always wind up right in the neighborhood I currently live in Coleman. Okay. All right. And uh, from my understanding, I've heard that y'all had a tornado here before. Yes, we did. Took the building down when all of Alabama got took down by the tornadoes in level. Uh, we had to rebuild the building. And uh, thank God we got it up and running by the uh, New Year's Eve party that same year. Oh, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Special in Jasper. Friendly staff, pool, darts, open mic on Thursday, karaoke, bands, open on Sunday. Midnight Special in Jasper. Y'all be sure and go buy my fine sponsors Lee's Family Restaurant and Dinner Theater, Midnight Special, and Steve's Pawn Shop. Yeah. Now here's some more from the Southern Magic Band at the Red Barn in Horton, Alabama. <laughs> Sonia talks to some people that goes to the Red Barn. I'm just going to show you what's going on right here. I'm building the show right now. Uh, we went up Saturday. It didn't storm on us, so that was good. Stormed after we got back, though. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've got going on here. All right, 
we are here with a few people at the Red Barn. So I just wanted to ask y'all a few questions. How long have y'all been coming here? I've been coming probably 10 or 11 years. 10 or 11 years? Mm -hmm. About the same for you? Mm -hmm. What is y'all's best memory coming here? Our son, Brandon. Your son, Brandon. we met here oh, three did years here? ago this week. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> well, my son's special. Well, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, He's special now. Oh, okay. I got you. So that's, that makes it even more It's special. too bad y'all uh, had to be the night when he went here so he could do this. Uh, he would have liked that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, what was the last question? Is there anyone y'all would like to give a shout out to? That was Brandon. We're going to give it to Brandon because right. he's not here with us tonight. Okay. Shout out to Brandon then. Steve's Pond and Summerton. He buys and sells gold and silver, has all kind of tools and machines, shotguns and handguns, Blu-rays, DVDs, gaming systems, laptops, flat screen TVs, Steve's Pawn in Summerton. All right, I'm going to take a little break in action here from the Red Bar. I've had a lot of people said they fed their dogs Alpo dog food and said their dogs just absolutely loved it. So I went to Walmart and got a can of it right here. It says it's made by Purina. Made by Purina. And uh, it says Alpo Prime Cuts. It says with beef and gravy right there at the top. It's pretty cool, man. So i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this up and see what the hoopla is all about, okay? So let me see if I can open it up. Yeah, it's, it's going right there. I'm going to open this sucker up. Oh, it don't smell half bad. I'll tell you that. All right. Put that right there. Let me get me a spoon here. You want to buy it too? So here it goes. See what this tastes like. Perina Alpo Prime Cuts. Here we go. Don't look half bad. Tasty. Yeah. All right. Back to the red barn. I might get another bite. Here, while we was up at the Red Barn, the little Elvis 
came to us and we we fixing to interview him right here just right after this uh danny fraser tribute to elvis it's on it's a valentine's show it's right there at the red barn it's february the 10th it's on a friday y'all all ages is welcome this is an all ages place anytime they're gonna be door prizes you don't want to miss this admissions five dollars uh, it's at the Red Barn. It's 83731 U.S. Highway 278 in Horton, Alabama. Uh, on 278, it's in between where 79 hits 278 and 75 hits 278. It's in between there on 278. Uh, for information, call Penny Johnson at 205-567-9120 or Deborah Stubbs, 256 Six four zero five five six zero two five six six four zero five five six zero. Showtime is at seven o'clock. Now here's that interview with the little Elvis. Go. All right, we're here with Danny Fraser here, and we're just going to ask him a few questions. How long have you been coming to the Red Barn? I guess about. Six to eight months. Six to eight months. Okay. All right. Where are you originally from? Originally, I'm from Rochester, New York. Oh, really? Where do you live now? I live in Hansville, Alabama. Oh, okay. All right. What is your best memory for as long as you've been coming here? I guess the... Well, there's a bunch, oh, okay. <laughs> but okay. Um, I, you know, I just I enjoy coming down here, seeing the band play, and uh, jam with the band and everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Is there anybody that you would like to give a shout out to? Oh, uh, my friends and my family. Friends and family. Okay. Now, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? And tell us what you've got going on here at the Red Barn. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm an Elvis tribute artist, and um, I've got a big Valentine's show coming up February the 10th at 7 p.m. right here at the Red Barn, and um, it's from 7 to 10. And uh, we're, we've already got a, a long list of people that are going to be here, and uh, so we're going to have a great time. We're, we're looking forward to it. Okay. All right, guys, you've heard it here. Come and check them out for the Elvis impersonator, please. Get out of here and go get something to eat, okay? Yes. All right, man. See ya. Bye. All right. That's another one. Told y'all the format was going to change a little bit. I hope y'all enjoyed this and everything we did today. Uh, I didn't do everything I wanted to do, but uh, you can see the change I've made. And uh, listen, I'm going to show you this little folder here on that little Elvis uh, he's got. 
So if you would, go up to Horton, Alabama, that Valentine's show. He's a good guy, man. Love him to death. Lives there at Hansville, Alabama. Danny, yeah. So, uh, shout outs, man. I always got to do a shout out to my good friends down there in Prattville, Alabama. Crazy Girl and Ken, of course. And I've seen a new friend over at uh, the uh, senior building in Summerton, Alabama, said he watched my show every Saturday morning. Hey, that's good to know when people comes up to you and says that. And of course, Tom and Fred, man, down there at Door, Alabama, my good friend Stanley Ballinger, he came up and, uh, and talked to me the other day for 30, 45 minutes, I guess, man. It's good seeing him up here. Hope he does it more often. I need to get down and see him, too, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and of course, Brad man, Creighton Hodges, Nathan Hodges, and Brooklyn. And listen, David Little. And y'all don't forget, AMSproduction.com. That's where you can see this show. AMS-TV.com, where you can see this show. And listen, we're going to put it on Facebook. And don't forget, check George Farrell Williams, my, my site there, on Facebook. I do live broadcast all the time, and it's called AMS-Live on Facebook. Yeah, so y'all check that out, man, and, and talk to me on there, because I can see y'all's comments and everything. Got to get out of here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you would, go up to Horton, Alabama, to the Red Barn. You won't be disappointed, I guarantee you. See y'all. I'm going to roll them credits now. Brad, roll them credits, boy. When she wiggles in her jeans, Lordy, Lordy, the fit is so nice. She's my honey dumpling, she's my sugar and spice. She's prim and proper, real heart stopper. I make her mad, she'll be a head knocker. My loving hug and cussing, red and fine. See my love and hug and bouncing round and wild.